Hey guys, Anthony Santo from MyRecordingInternship.com. I'm here to talk to you about hi-hats and how we can make them more interesting. Because uh, there's nothing that kills a beat like a really dry hi-hat that's not doing anything and not adding really, just kind of getting in the way. And that's what I have right now on this beat and we're going to mess with it and make it really, really fun. Okay, first things first. Let's take off any plugins now. Okay, here's our hi-hat in our verse. I'll play it back. You can take a listen. So not terrible or anything, but it's kind of in the way. It's not really interacting enough with the beat. So I want to do some stuff to it to make it more fun, to, to make it more fun to listen to at least, rather than something that either takes over your ear or fades in the background. I want it to come in and out, and I want it to be fun to kind of see what it's doing. So we're just going to get an EQ out, and we're going to do some EQ sweeps on it. I'm just going to use the middle band right here. Um, I'll put it up first. I'm going to put it up a whole bunch so we can really hear what I'm doing. So I have it going up about 10 decibels here. And I'm going to adjust the Q to make it a little bit sharper like so. And now what we're going to do is use this middle band frequency to sweep around. So we could go low and high with it. So just to show you what this will sound like, let's just solo out the hi-hat and just do this. So now there's a little bit more attitude to the hi-hat. It could be a little bit more fun this way. So what we need to do is automate that middle band's frequency. So we'll go up to here. We'll automate middle band freak right there. Just add that to our plugin automations list. Now I'm going to do it uh, by hand here. I'm going to draw it in. So if you just go where it says waveform, just go down to your EQ7, go to your middle band frequency and we're just going to draw this in. And we could do that with the hand tool, just use that for now. Okay, so here's my starting point, I'll make a dot to start it. And let's say I wanna start a little lower. So we'll start there lower. And as we ramp up to the edge of each beat, I'm gonna really push it. And then I'm gonna go down. And the next time I'll push it a little heavier, so we'll go up to here. And the next time, we'll go back down, of course. And the next time, I'm going to push it even heavier up to here. So now we're pretty much maxed out. Um, and we'll go back down. And since this is the end of the beat, we'll ramp up right there, too. There's a little pause on the hi-hat right there. So we'll ramp up right at the end. Now, you could take a look. You could just kind of see what's going on right here with this frequency sweep that we drew in. So check out the hi-hat now. So definitely more fun now. There's more to listen to as we put that in the beat. You'll hear that there's more to listen to. Now, the other thing I want to do is I don't want it to be so dry. It's still very dry, so we're going to put just a little bit of delay on it. Uh, so we'll go and get a multi-channel plugin for delay. Here we are. Now, a cool way to do this is we are to use two different resolutions for our delay. One is going to be a quarter note and one is going to be an eighth note. So let's do an eighth note out of the left and a quarter note out of the right. We're going to turn the mix down a whole bunch. Maybe we'll have it right around 22. That's about there. Okay. So that's our start with this. There's a lot more uh, we can do, but let's just listen back to see what we sound like, see if we want to make any changes to this. All right, very, very cool. Now I'm just going to add some feedback. So right now what we did is we did mix. So that just means your first delay on everything. Feedback is going to give you more delays. Uh, so as we add feedback, it will not only delay it once, it'll use that same sample to delay it twice, three times, four times, depending on how much feedback you put in there. And I'm just going to up it to around the same area, maybe around 25. We'll start listening back, see what we got here. Thank you. 
Now it's getting a lot more fun to listen to. Let's drop it into the beat and see if we made an improvement. So we got the idea now. So when we're working with hi-hats, we want to have a little bit more fun with them uh, because when we have them dry, they're really just annoying. <laughs> they're either in the way or they're just kind of taking over uh, your ear or they're just ignorable, one or the other. Uh, so play around with different parts of your beat. Make sure that not everything is just straightforward. You want to have some sort of ear candy, especially on something as simple as like a hi-hat. So I hope this helps you out and I will see you guys on the next one.